Damn. Coming at y'all real quick with a video about everything. Um, I want to talk about um, loving hip hop. I want to talk about basketball wise. I hope that y'all can see me. I don't think my focus is that good. I'm sorry that my angle is not that great. I'm doing a bunch of stuff at one time. Like I'm online on the computer and I'm watching VH1 and I'm trying to do this video at the same time. Um, what I want to talk about y'all. I want to take it back real quick. Remember on the reunion with Bianca and um, Sky at the end of um, Love and Hip Hop? Let me see if I could. That's a little bit better. Sorry, y'all. I ain't gonna redo this. We're just gonna do it like this. So, remember when um, Drewski had uh, proposed to Sky and Bianca was like, this is how we do it uptown. This is how we make it rain uptown. I thought that was so tight. But, Sky actually said yes. Sky actually accepted that damn proposal. A ring don't make him no less disrespectful. That fool is disrespectful. I do not think that she should marry him. I don't give a damn about the damn video. How he took Bianca out of it. If she marries that dude, she is a damn fool. Drewski is very disrespectful, and I think that he will continue to disrespect her, and I don't think that she should be marrying him at all. Put in the comments what y'all think. Moving on. I think that, like, basketball-wise, and I think that Love and Hip Hop and Black Ink, it, black ink crew all tie into each other because um like i'm on instagram and stuff like that i see like i'm watching right now on the computer sky and um mimi are cool y'all can't see it but this is um sky right here from black ink crew and that's mimi right there from loving hip-hop atlanta they finna be on the um um what hip-hop squares so it's like they all cool um sky and cardi b sky from um black ink crew and cardi b are cool you know what i'm saying like ace boone and stuff like that so i think everybody pretty much knows each other and remember rashida from um love and hip-hop and um sky was fuzzing i was wondering how do they even like know each other like how do they even click like that to have that fight come about and um it kind of makes sense to me i think they are all you know in conjunction with one because you notice how on um love and hip-hop New York this last season. Remember how all the girls went on vacation and that was their first time all going on vacation together? That's what Basketball Wives normally does. So, I want to see if Basketball Wives is going to have a little bit of twist when it comes back um, in April, y'all. Because I know on a little um, tease to it, it's not even like a trailer or nothing, but a little tease is talking about uh, Sammy versus Evelyn. So, is Evelyn coming back? Me, I try to just do it. I try to just watch it as it comes. You know what I'm saying? Because if I go too far like in the internet or try to get too much into it and stuff, then it's not so exciting for me when I watch it. That's why I stopped um, doing reviews on Mariah's World because it was just like boring because we already knew that she wasn't going to marry that man no more. You know what I'm saying? So I try to just try to be just as shocked as y'all when I see the stuff as it appears on TV. But anyways, let's get to this. Um, I want to do the Black Ink Crew real quick. This shit with them, um, of course now I can remember their goddamn names. Caesar and damn Duchess. How that girl had came in lied and was like, oh, my sister was pregnant for him and my sister um had an abortion. Don't nobody, I mean, I'm not trying to say nothing about the abortion, but bitch, don't nobody give a fuck. You are not the girl. You are not the girl bringing it. You talking about some stuff that happened, like, in the past or whatever. Don't nobody give a shit about that. And then, I mean, it was kind of a shocker, but I wasn't really tripping on that part. I was tripping off, <clears throat> excuse me, how, um... What's the girl with the damn dreads? What's, I don't know why I can't ever remember this shit when I'm writing it. When I'm um, talking about it to y'all. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Duchess. Why Duchess just react like that? And she was just like, well, here's your ring back. Gave the ring back to Caesar. Went back to North Carolina. Partying, having a good time. Don't give a damn. Then Caesar turn around. Goes off to Miami. Is having a good time with homegirl. The tattoo artist from out there. And then find out the girl that was talking about the abortion and stuff was bullshit. She had no proof. The sister never surfaced. We ain't never seen no proof of nothing. And look at how they don't fucked up their relationship. I mean, um, Duchess didn't go off and do nothing but party. And Homeboy didn't go off and do nothing but party. But they was both open to other things. You know what I'm saying? Now they got to try to pass it together off of somebody trying to come to some bullshit. That's why it's important to have open communication with your partner. Try not to keep no bullshit, you know what I'm saying, to yourselves and no secrets away from each other. So if shit happened like this, you could catch it. Because I feel like this girl just played them for a fool. So we'll have to see what happens with that when it comes on on Wednesday. Now, I want to talk about um, this love and hip-hop um, Atlanta, y'all. The shit with Rashida and Kirk. I went on Instagram. I was a little bit nosy because I was watching um, Lovely TT. I think she's 2002. She comes on YouTube and she's on Instagram, too. She always has the latest news and all the latest scoop. Y'all might want to check her out. But um, she said that Rashida had responded to Kirk's, um, you know, 
possibly having this outside baby with this girl. And looks like it's supposed to be true. Looks like it's supposed to be true. The only thing I can do is just watch the show and see how it plays out. But I mean, just like all these other ones. See, I'm looking at Rashida right now. I'm on the website, vh1.com. Rashida's right here. But anyways, y'all, um, it don't make no sense how they just... I guess it helps us, you know, as females or dudes or however it works. To be watching the stuff played out on TV to, so you can say I'm not the only one that was in that position that got played like that or something like that happened to me. But girl, don't let him make an ass out of you. I don't even know all of their history because my favorite love in hip-hop is New York. And I watch Atlanta a little bit. But getting back into it, it's just like I can't even stand and look at Kirk's face. I don't even know how she marries him. Like I can't even like look at his face. Just seeing his face on TV just pisses me off. And you've been cheating on this woman like this. You keep on cheating on this woman like that. It's like, well, bitch, if he don't have this baby on you, you finna stay with him. I mean, what you want us to do? I'm waiting for lovely Mimi to come onto the show. I can't wait. On Instagram, y'all, that's where I've been. <laughs> on Instagram. On Instagram. But anyways, on Instagram, um, lovely Mimi's husband, he put on his page that she's going to be in the third episode. So I can't wait to see her and see what she brings to this show. As far as Cardi Red and Young Job, it's just like Cardi Red, sit your ass down. I don't even know why the hell she on the show no more. Because she just keep on being with this dude and this dude and this dude that keep on playing her. And she ain't getting no damn younger. She not getting no damn younger. It's like, bitch, uh, be about your age and on some grown woman ass shit, you know, that you can bring to these younger females. Uh, get your ass off the show because it seems like you can play worse than their asses is. At least, um... Baby asked the bam, at least, um, what's her name, proposed to her with, a, you know, a real ring. And, yeah, he ended up cheating and whatever, which is coming up, I think, on this Monday's episode. And she called the wedding off and stuff like that. But at least, you know, it wasn't a fake-ass ring like, um, just being, must be nice. I can't remember his damn name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm bad with damn names, y'all, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, must be nice. Having someone who loves you. I can't think of his name. Whoever she was with, that fool, um, when he played her with that fake ass ring, at that point, I was like, Cardi Ray, you should make a decision for the better. She still has it, so it's whatever. Now, um, this thing with Jocelyn and um, Stevie J, I haven't seen him with no pictures of the baby or nothing like that as far as being in the baby's life. And I think that's sad. Like, even though her ass is uh, cutthroat hard trying to hurt somebody and ruin people's lives and stuff like how they be talking about. She, she real cutthroat and dirty like that. You know, and karma is real. But as far as the baby, I mean, that's his baby. And I haven't seen him take no part in trying to be in the baby's life. I'm going to have to watch that play out on the episode. So, y'all, I am watching. Um, I'm looking forward to see what happens tonight because I will be watching tonight and doing a review. Thank you for still being with me. I know it took a while for me to get back to y'all on everything, but I've been here. And plus, I have my second page on my sobriety. If y'all want to check that out, the information is in the description. Y'all can follow me and show me some support on there. Other than that, we are video fam. We are chilling. And y'all stay tuned because we got more for you. Peace.